Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. This video is going to be about how to create an AWS EC2 instance of a Linux distribution and access the instance from a Windows operating system. We will do that by installing a tool uh, which provides the Linux terminal in a Windows PC. The tool uh, is not potty, however. So let's get started. No matter wherever you are now on the AWS management console, click on the services, click on the EC2, click on instances. Let's clear the filter and here we don't have any EC2 instance on any status running, stopped or terminated. If you already have an instance on any of the statuses, you can just ignore it for now and launch a new instance. Here I click on the AWS Marketplace and search for the CentOS Linux for this demo and hit enter. You can choose any operating system however. We should select the free tier eligible one. Otherwise, we'll be charged with some dollars. Click on continue. The type is t2.micro, which is a free tire. We are okay with this. So let's move on to the next configure instance details. Here everything is okay for now. But we need to check on which network or the VPC we are going to attach the EC2 instance. In our case, it's the default VPC. Likewise, we should also take care about the subnet on which we are including the EC2 instance. Since we want to access this EC2 instance from the public network, we should select the public subnet. And let's enable the auto assign public IP option so that the instance is assigned with a public IP address by which it will be accessible to the public network. Other configurations do not look to require modifications. So let's move on to the next add storage section. For now, uh, we don't need to modify anything here as well. So uh, let's move on to the next add tags. Let's add a tag to the EC2 instance so that we can uh, search for the instance or filter it in case we have several instances. Enter the key as name and the key value as anything you want to. For example, I name it as public dash ec2 dash saint ways and then move on to the next configure security group by default create a new security group option is selected but we are not going to create a new security group now uh, because we have already created a security group while creating the vpc so we can just select the select an existing security group check on the security group id and click on the review and launch button then click on the launch button. The final step of creating an EC2 instance is creating a key pair file. This key will be required to log in to the EC2 instance remotely. Since we don't already have a key, uh, we are going to create a new key pair file. Then give a name to the key pair. Download and store in a safe and secure location of your computer because using the key pair anyone can log into the EC2 instance and then click on the launch instances button. It may take some time to create an instance so I fast forward the video. Then scrolling down a bit click on the view instances button which takes you to the instances section. The EC2 instance is created now but it's on the pending state. It may take quite a bit of time. Meanwhile, let's download a tool that provides a Linux shell to access the EC2 instance. In the new tab, search for git bash. Now click on the downloads dash git link. Click on windows and click on 64 bit git for windows setup link. Store the installer in a location of your computer and wait for some time until the download is complete. After the download is complete, click on it to begin the installation. As usual with installing a Windows installer, for Git 2, click on a couple of next buttons.
and click on the install button. Now before you click on the finish button, uncheck the view readme box and now click on the finish button. Also I am not going to check on the launch git bash because we will launch it manually. Now let's launch the git bash. The only way for this is to click on the windows icon on the bottom left corner or press the windows key on your keyboard that opens the start menu. Most of the times you find it listed here on the recently added section. If you don't type the keyword git space bash on the search box and click on it. This is the Linux shell on which we can run any valid Linux command on Windows. Next uh, we need to switch the current working directory to the directory where our AWS key pair file is stored. We can use the cd command to change the current working directory and give the directory path such as g colon. If you run the pwd command you will see your current working directory that is and for now g drive in my case. Then I change the directory to aws slash aws dash grids where the key pair file is stored. We can check or verify the directory path using the windows ui as well. I am going to delete the last three key pairs file here which I downloaded while creating other resources in the AWS previously. Going to the git bash and typing the ls command, we can see the key file in the .pem extension. We will use this key to log in to the AWS EC2 instance remotely that is from our computer. To get the login information, let's go to the instances section in the AWS management console. Now we can see the instance is on the running state. Select the instance, click on the connect button and here on the SSS client tab, we get information about how we get access to the EC2 instance via the SSH. On the step number 3, we can see that uh, we will need to change the permission of the key pair file so that it will not be publicly viewable using the given command. So let's copy the command. Then go to the git pass and paste the command. Then copy the commands as shown in the example and paste on the git bash. If you are asked uh, or s or no question here, type s and hit enter. Here we go. We are now logged into the EC2 instance remotely via the SSH. To check uh, which operating system is it, you can run cat space slash etc slash os dash release command. Here you can see it's Saint OS 7. Okay friends, uh, this is how we can create an AWS EC2 instance and access the EC2 instance using the git bash program on Windows operating system. That's all for this video. I hope it was useful to you. Uh, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Goodbye.